NASA guy, David Markarian here. It's 108 degrees out. Let's see. I got a special little secret to show you. So the question is, can I run a 15K BTU AC unit on uh, this 2021 Rockwood Mini Light or 2022, I'm not sure. Uh, but this is a propane based one. So in theory, it's got less. According to most people, it's like more like 2000 watts. I'm not really sure. But what did I do different? So current's really important, right? You gotta have the right current. This would not start it. Didn't have a chance to use the regular cord. Well, I switched to a 50 amp uh, extension cord. So it's 10 feet long and you can see, I go. so most of this is on a very thick cable. So we, it means that we have very little loss of current. Let's take a look inside. Let me start it up and we'll take a look inside. Okay, I got it started up um, on propane. You got to run it on echo mode off. So the echo mode has to be off. Now let's go inside and see if the AC will turn on. A couple of little things. I have a propane based refrigerator. I've got it on purpose so I could run it off grid without having to draw more current. I shut off the converter. And so all that's on now is the general and the AC. So let's see what happens. So we come over and I'm gonna set the fan to on. You can hear it just kicked up. Leave it on for a second. Actually, the they say that you want to let the generator warm up a little bit, but we're just gonna give this a shot. Remember 50 amp. Here it is, fan is on. I'm gonna kick on the cool. You hear it kick up. Here we go. And it does it every time. I've been doing this for, this is probably my 15th time in a row. If you notice, you didn't even hear a kick when it went to start up. The uh, generator kicked up, but you didn't hear any thump from the AC unit, which is really unusual. So it's blowing cool air now and uh, I've done this now and let it run for four hours straight it runs just fine now what I rather have now what I don't have in here as you probably know is there's no uh, easy start set up in here I'm gonna put one in anyways I prefer to do it that way I think I'm kind of overloading the generator uh, but regardless the fact that it works is pretty amazing all because of the use of a 50 amp cable if I used the 30 amp that came with this it would fail there's no way it would start it up so simple little trick so I chose the gen connects because I really liked how clean the design is I design products for a living I love that I also like the way the propane set up so you can see if you look at that the how small the uh, regulator is I love that part and so it's a very clean design uh, it's propane only but you can get dual fuel um, I just like how clean their designs are and I really appreciate them and I'm not being paid to say this NASA guy David Markarian out <laughs>